Yeah, Deuce Mason joins us live in Sacramento with more on uh, Urban Baths. Hey, buddy. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, this cold plunge, it's very cold, and you're wondering, Deuce, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't yes, you taking Deuce, the plunge? Why aren't you doing this? Well, the station nixed it. The station nixed it. They saw the swimsuit. I had this, like, man thong thing I wear, and they're like, you can't show that on TV. And I'm like, fine, maybe next time. Anyway, Corey, tell me the benefits of this, the cold plunge, going from hot to cold like this. Well, it's immediately invigorating oh, and energizing. Yes, it is. Look at her face. <laughs> also, if you have injuries or if you've just done, like, some sort of intense workout, it's very healing. It can get rid of the soreness and yeah, yeah. very healing She's for injuries too. Yeah. I gotta ask her how this was. Christina over here, how did it feel to do that? Oh, wow. It wakes you up tremendously after this amazing experience in the hot. You're relaxed, you're mellow, but this just, what it does is it, you can expand your organs and you can restrict them and it's like totally health detox. That is so cool. Man, I gotta take that plunge sometime. All right, we're gonna make our way over here. Hi everyone. Tony here for Immortality. So we ask the AI, what has the single biggest impact on longevity? AI crunch the numbers? Lifestyle. Lifestyle, of course. Lifestyle has the greatest impact on a person's health and lifespan. Diet, exercise, working out, eating right. Not drugs, not medical procedures. Now, that's a far cry from labs, medical centers, drugs and supplements. But if you were to ask a scientist, you'd get a lab. A doctor prescribes a medical clinic, a pharmacist to a drugstore. People revert to what they know as being the path to understanding what they do not know. Instead, let's take a moment to clear the preconceptions and think different. Now, this is where it gets crazy. We asked the AI, what business structure has the greatest positive impact on health and longevity? AI, a Roman bathhouse. What? That's just crazy, AI. But let's hear it out. AI continues. Roman baths were public facilities in ancient Rome that were used for hygiene, socializing and relaxation. Many Romans visited the baths on a daily basis. Well, some cultures still have Roman baths. They are installed as part of municipal works like libraries. They are termed state baths, city baths, or after the name of the city, for example, New Brunswick baths. Roman baths are not a pool for bathing. Archaeology shows that they had a number of different facilities, including a large pool or a swimming pool called a piscina, which was used for swimming and exercising. General lap pool. Go in your lap pool and uh, enjoy yourself at the lap pool. A series of plunge pools, hot and cold baths, called caldarium for hot and frigidarium for cold. The hot baths were heated by an underfloor hypercosts. Hypercosts were basically a coal-powered furnace that heated water and circulated hot water around the complex to heat the various baths. Here we go into the hot pool. The hot pool is very hot. Do that. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> 
Oh, babe, how do you do that? That's freezing. All right, come and come and take me. I want to go in there. I'm gonna jump in there. Take a picture of me. Watch. Take, oh my God! I go in there. where Romans could sweat and detoxify their bodies. Steam rooms, also a calderium, where Romans could relax and breathe in steam. We've got the sauna. Bang in your hot sauna. Super hot in here. Not too bad. There's your stats. 45 degrees Celsius. So, the temp isn't so I think, but it does get you to sit here for a while. Okay, I love this. Steam room. The steam room is much hotter. It's almost intolerable. Stage two, sauna. Okay, let me get back. Oh, it's much more here. A series of massage rooms and beauty treatments, including hair cutting and styling, manicures and pedicures, a gymnasium, outdoor exercise yards where Romans could work out and engage in physical activity, a library or reading room where Romans could relax and read, a dining area where Romans could eat and socialize. Now, Give the AI some credit. Strangely fundamental lifestyle, longevity practices are ice baths, saunas, exercising and eating healthy as some of the core technologies of longevity. But Roman bath houses were not standard and different locations had different facilities allowing for innovation to rework the Roman bathhouse into a new type of gymnasium and fitness center in our case for longevity. Bring in the saline vapor rooms, the supplements, the drugstore, the lab area and the medical clinic and any alteration that homes in the essential longevity facility. The complete gamut of longevity in one facility. The Roman bathhouse. Gymnasiums 2.0. We have the lap pool. We have the sauna, we have the steam room, we have the cold pool, we have the hot pool, 
and we'll have the lap pool. We are always looking to expand the facility, make the facility better, do more stuff as investment allows. Immortality, Tony, over and out.